philosophers. This is insane. It has been happening for years. And the mainstream Western media remains largely silent while the Nigerian government is barely doing anything to stop this. Where is the UN? Where are the human rights organizations? Why are they silent when Christians are butchered in Africa? Are Africans less important? This is shameful. The world must wake up before it is too late. Let's stand up for the voiceless people in Africa who are experiencing this genocide right now. They deserve to be free. Whole country working together, not just the army. Now, to get the whole country working together, there are some things you don't allow. I'm going to say, for instance, that the presidency has a, qu a few questions to answer. Because if you want to build the confidence of the people, there are some things that we must never allow. I'm going to tell you that apart from the, the minimum ones I've mentioned, the major one that is undermining the effort of this war right now is the fact that in 2004, I was involved in an evacuation. At Bakat Fawa Balewa University, they had just slaughtered one boy in their mosque. A young Christian, Sunday Achi was his name. When I got there, the other students who had fatwas on them that were meant to be killed in the university, hmm. we evacuated them, brought them to Lagos. Like I said, I, I worked with Khan presidents through the years. And this has been happening through the years, so it's not as if it's a, a Buhari era thing. It's just that the box stops at the table of leadership. Now, the major question we're asking ourselves is this. The young boys that we interviewed then, the testimonies we took, the person who put a fatwa on them and supervised the killing of one of them, one of them is a federal minister now. <laughs> Even after he was exposed globally. <laughs> you see, how on earth do we want to... I mean, we are one of the people who are rallying people and saying, look, this thing is not religious. It is a religious cover. The best way we can win in Nigeria is, first of all, to blow the religious cover. It is not religious. Mm. It is not religious. But when a man who supervised the killing of a... And he was 30-something, 30 31 years old then. So how do we so, give such so, an excuse? Uh, Who's going to listen to this? Uh, Pastor Thompson, mm. uh, if you say you supervised the killing... Uh, the, I, evacuation. Sure, the evacuation. I supervised of, the evacuation. You know, the guys who supervised the killing. That's I, what I'm I saying. Spoke to this, that's, that's, I spoke to the people involved not too long ago. They are still shaking. You were not there, sir. I, I'm saying I, 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 I evacuated the students and I spoke to them. Okay, so because this is, um, uh, uh, the minister is not here to be able to say his own side of what's going on. So we're Apart just from to... that, globally, he was on Al-Qaeda's website, globally, posting stuff in recent years. 